Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ami Eats or Ispez. I'll be telling you guys about the ballista, the text and specs about it, how I think about it, and how I think about like different ways you can use it, like feeding, trick shot, and anything about that. And this uh, gameplay is just me playing on raid. This is actually a lead play game. Hey, we got I a green light. Twenty, twenty something in. Five. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't seen this video in a long time. But something about the ballista or the things I think about it. I think it's a very handy um, bolt action. I think you could do some pretty cool stuff with it, like trick shotting or feeding. You just have to aim in the right place of the body. It's a two shot it's, uh, waist and below. Anything above that is a one shot. Of course, a headshot is a one shot. Unless you get like totally ripped off about it. But, um, I definitely use this gun a lot. I UAV think it's much inbound. better than the DSR if you're going for quick scope. Like if you want to get that quick shot off, I would definitely use this instead of uh, just waiting for your enemy with the DSR. I do also think the DSR is a good gun, but in my perspective, I think that the ballista is just a little bit more uh, more reactive. But that's just me. You guys might think different. Uh, the def uh, the ballista definitely reacts to different situations on the battlefield. If it's like some uh, Nuketown gameplay and you just like Come on, get just pull up the scope and you just get it off real quick, I think the ballista is very good with it. I think the DSR um, reacts UAV above. differently. Like if you want to MQ just sit in the back by the Nuketown shelter, out, uh, shelter, you could probably just use the DSR by using that if you want to get some full shoots and like that. Down. But other than that, I think the ballista is very good. Um, I've seen a lot of videos about like phase Pamash or people like that, uh, phase temper using the ballista, especially on like aftermath or anything like that. I think they use that gun pretty good. Um, there's a there's actually much different ways you can customize the gun. Like uh, I wanted to see the DSR put into action with iron sights. Actually, if you upgrade the DSR in zombies and like town or something like that, it actually comes out with the iron sights and it actually pretty, looks pretty sick. Like, if they put that in multiplayer, I would definitely use it. I think it would equal up to the ballista advised, but, um, with the scope. Inbound. But the ballista's iron sights are not very good. They, they take up too much room in the sights. I would like more of a Chris more sites. I don't like much project together, but you guys might think differently about that. On like the maps that I usually use the ballista on are raid, overflow, nuke town, just those quick reaction kind of maps. Uh, um, what else am I gonna talk about? I got you. I guess I'll just talk about the camos. The camos about the gun, they look pretty sick. I used the carbon fiber because, well, that's pretty sexy, but you, I like the the Spanish one too, but that's just me. Uh, the attachments I use mostly, if I'm going um, like straight up like try hard, I'll probably use the uh, FMJ and the Fast Mag, because Fast Mag. Um, reloads much faster and the FMJ just get me much of hit markers. I think it's to the, the uh, knees. Uh, maybe a little bit higher, I'm not sure. And for more tactical, like if I'm gonna be camping in the back, just like waiting to get some kill streaks, like a swarm or a V set, I would probably use um, suppressor and uh, uh, FMJ or ballistic CPU and FMJ. So I don't get much sway when I'm trying to get that shot off. But anyway, guys, this game actually goes pretty fast. Changing. Um, what time is it? Yeah, I think it's five UAV minutes or three. Above. I'm not sure. But I'll just um, compare the ballista to the DSR. The DSR, well, I kind of said this before, but the we DSR is a little bit more of a bulky kind of gun. This gun is kind of like the inner version of the DSR. Like how the how you scope and how fast you can go. 
it just depends on how you use it on the battlefield. Like if you're just like a hard scope where you just want to sit back like a little douchebag, um, yeah, you probably use the DSR because you don't get any hit markers. And if you do get a hit marker, it's pretty much fun. So it just depends. So this game's winding down. I don't really have much anything else to talk about. Um, the new map pack's coming out, Uprising. It looks pretty sick. I'm gonna definitely try Mob of Dead and do a commentary about that and just how to show you guys around the map. Like Vertigo, um, I think there's one more map that is based off of Firing Range. It's like kind of like a movie setting, like, um, just a uh, scene of just the director and everything. Excuse me, uh, everything about that. So. I hope this uh, video hope this helped you guys on how to use the ballista. Um, makes you think about uh, different ways you can use it. I uh, I definitely would use it in fast or uh, much rushing proportions. Like right now, I would use it in here. So yeah, guys, I think this ends down to the video. And at this last moment, I almost get a collateral, but I don't. Because it was last kill and it was like 23, Squad. I think, or it did it. So, yeah, guys, um, if you liked the video, please like the video. Uh, if you could, oh my god, subscribe to me, please. And thanks.